I'm so pleased that I didn't wait another week to introduce you to this plant. It's not really a tree or a shrub. It's more of a bramble or a briar. It's actually one of our native roses, a swamp rose, Rosa palustris. Swamp rose, as it is named, occurs in swampy wetland areas. I'm standing here in an area that's covered up with button bush, swamp rose, and elderberry, which are some really wetland type plants. So this is where you're gonna find it. It's a climbing bramble type plant. I've seen it 10, 15 feet up into the trees. It's absolutely spectacular when it's in full bloom. Again, I almost waited too long. Just a couple weeks ago, this thing was covered up with these pink flowers. But we still have a few left, and even though there's only a few here, they're very fragrant. They're covered up with insects, particularly bees love this plant, so it's a great native pollinator. Um, some folks may get it confused with our non-native rose that's most common, the multiflora rose. But some key differences are multiflora rose is named because at the end of the flower stalk, you'll have multiple flowers on the same stalk with lots of smaller flowers that are either white or a light pink, where these will be a beautiful intense pink color, much larger flower with a bright yellow center. The other thing that helps separate these two is the leaf itself. And when you pull off one of the compound leaves, most of the ones on both the roses I looked at have about seven leaflets, but the multiflora rose tends to have leaflets, or leaves, compound leaves, that have these little fringy um, structures right at the base where the leaf attaches to the twig. So that's a great key identifier. As we zoom in, we'll look at this plant. Uh, the actual stalk on this seems to be a little bit smaller in diameter, a little bit finer, but it'll also have more of a reddish color than the multiflora rose right now is very green. Most roses do have what we call a recurved or a hooked thorn or spine, so they're a little tough to get in and explore. But again, mul multiflora rose is the non-native that's everywhere. The native swamp rose occurs in very wet, low-lying areas and often intermingled. I've had a battle trying to separate these out and try to remove some of the multiflora rose without damaging the native swamp rose. Again, Rosa palustris, a native that can occur in our wetland areas. And uh, just glad we didn't wait too long.